God, thanks this morning. Good morning, I said, how are you doing? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we bless the name of Jesus. Good morning, Sister Tanya Bailey. Hallelujah. Where are you watching me from, Tanya Bailey? Hallelujah. Where are you watching me from? Good morning, Jenny Martin. How are you doing? Hallelujah. Be blessed, guys. So for the next minute, guys, I want you guys to go ahead and I want you please to share. We are about to open up in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We tell God thanks and we honor him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is something good is about to happen. Something tremendously is about to happen this morning. Come on. Why you just don't provoke the heaven this morning with a praise? Come on. Provoke the heaven with a praise this morning. Wherever you are this morning, I want you to give God your best. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to let that devil know that today is your day for you to receive and to get your breakthrough, man. Many of you have been asking God for breakthroughs. But I want you to understand that your breakthrough is right here. But there is a way out to get your breakthrough. I want you to understand that the devil is not going to allow you to get your breakthrough. Hallelujah. So you got to get busy in the spirit. You got to be receptive. Hallelujah. So even now we blot out all distraction of the enemy. Even now we shut down the powers of hell. Even now in the name of Jesus, we rebuke every Satan in dart of darkness. Hallelujah. We tell God thanks for what he's about to do this morning. We glorify his name. We welcome the spirit of God. Come on, somebody begin to praise God. Come on. Good morning, Michelle Neat. Hallelujah. I welcome all the first time viewers. If it's your second time, third time, we welcome you. Hallelujah. If you, if you are watching us for the second time, you are no stranger to this platform. But for those of you, if it's your first time, you know, I don't want to scare you, but this, this, this room here is just strictly Holy Ghost preaching. We don't plan sermon here. We just flow according to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Good, good morning. Elena Callum. Good morning, woman of God. We greet you. Hallelujah. So we tell God thanks and this morning. Are you ready? for what God is about to do. All right, saints of God, good morning, Sister Camille, how you doing? Good morning, Sister Russ, how have you been? Hallelujah. All right, guys, so um, I want you guys to begin to share one more time. I want everyone, if you have not shared, I just want you to begin to share. I want you to tag somebody's name. Come on. I want you to tag a friend name. I want you to share it to your groups. Your WhatsApp groups, come on. Let somebody know that I am hand. You don't want to miss this word this morning. Hallelujah. I guarantee you. This is a powerful word from God. So we're gonna go in prayer. We're gonna enter in prayer. We're gonna we're gonna provoke the heaven. So so I want everyone at this time to bow your heads with me. We're gonna go into prayer. We're gonna open up in prayer. Hallelujah. Good morning, woman of God, Enrique Francis. Hallelujah. I greet everyone in no other name but the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I greet you in the name of Jesus. And I honor God who is the end of my life. Without God, I am nothing. Hallelujah. Without God, I would have never been here. I can tell you that God has been merciful unto us. So I just tell God for his mercy. Hallelujah. So now in the name of Jesus, I, I want to open up in prayers. Hallelujah. And I want to tell God thanks. Hallelujah. Good morning, Vida. Hallelujah. As you come on in, I greet you. All right. So let us open up in prayer. Chanel Thompson. Good morning. We greet you. Hallelujah. All right. As I'm going in prayer, the names are just coming in. But I just want to take this time to greet you because when I'm in the world, like sometimes I, I I'm I'm so I'm so high in the spirit. Sometimes I'm not even seeing the comments. So, hallelujah. So I want to take this time out to just greet, um, Darlene Pride Week. We greet you, hallelujah. Pamela, we greet you. Blessing, we greet you. 
Hallelujah. All right. So let us go in prayer, guys. Let us open in prayer. So, Father God, as we come before you, God, this morning, another time, God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, that you will cover this platform, cover your people this morning. Oh, God, I pray, God, that you will go with us, you will be with us this morning. Spirit of truth, Spirit of the living God, I pray this morning, God, that you will send an anointing for your people. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, oh, God, that your word this morning will go forth with power, with clarity, with understanding this morning, Holy Spirit. I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, my God, that you will use me for your glory one more time. Oh God, as I remove myself out of the way even now, mighty God, I pray this morning, Father God, upon the hunchen of the Holy Spirit, I, Ramando Johnson, I decrease myself this morning, Holy Spirit, so your spirit can increase on the inside of me, God, so your voice can be heard through me God and your people will be receptive oh God of your word and this morning my God I pray God that you will give your people deep revelation oh God give them the wisdom the understanding the knowledge oh Father God to understand what the spirit is saying my God I pray this morning that healing deliverance miracles breakthrough will take place in the lives of your people. Mighty God, we tell a thanks even now. Holy Spirit, I pray God that you will move like you have never moved before. Mighty God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that souls will be saved. Souls will be liberated this morning. I pray for the unsaved right now, mighty God. Father, I pray God that you will bring a conviction in their heart. My God, and I bind up every man mind binding spirit oh God that comes to mess with the minds of the people this morning even now God I come against the spirit of interference I come against the spirit of sabotage oh Father God I come against every diabolical spirit so even now mighty God I go up in the spiritual world and I demolish every stronghold of the enemy this morning oh God I release this platform from the spirit of heaviness. Holy Spirit, I pray God that your name will be glorified mighty God. Mighty God, I pray that your presence will be evident in the eyes of men this morning. Oh God, I pray God that you will confound the doubters this morning. I pray that unbelievers will become believers this morning. Father God, we go in the spirit even now God and we pull out drugs man. We pull out gunmen, we pull out homosexual Rabakushandabasandai, we go in the wrong bars even now God mighty God and we arrest the souls of your people God that the enemy wants to steal my God this morning Rabakushandabakusatarabai we send a supernatural deliverance in the hearts of your people even now my God cast a deliverance anointing oh God to come down and deliver Deliver your people, God. Let there be a revival this morning. Revive the soul of your people. Resurrect them this morning, God. I pray that you will send supernatural fire in their spirit, man, God. I pray for those that are feeling discouraged. I pray, God, that your word will encourage them. Mighty God, I pray, Father God, that you will give your people, oh God, a word that they have been asking you for in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Rabba Kushata Mama Makusayamda. So even now, Father God, I pray for the broken hearts. My God, I speak healing in every area of their lives. In the name of Jesus. Oh Father God, for those mighty God came on this morning for a special prayer request. This morning I take this opportunity, even now, and I come in agreement with every prayer request. Oh God, I pray God that you will stretch down your hands this morning and you will touch them Father God I pray God that you will give them a speedy answer this morning and I go up
up in the spiritual world. Father God and every prince of Persia that has been fighting against your people's answers. This morning I call for Michael to release them in the spiritual world. My God, I pray, Father God, that your word, Ribako Shandai, will go forth with accuracy. Yenaba Shandai, pray, oh God, that the spirit of prophecy will come upon your servant. Lead me now, God, according to your will this morning. Lead me in the direction, oh God, that you want me to go, God, but not the direction I want to go. Father God, let your spirit flow through me this morning. Let stagnation be no more for your people. Let the spirit of backwardness be no more. Father, let the spirit of failure, God, let the spirit of delays, repeated cycles, curses, rabba koshata mama mandeke tarabai, I break it off their lives this morning, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let your people tears, my God, be wiped up. Oh, Father God, everyone that is going through something, oh God, everyone, my God, that is at the brim of giving up, Father God, those that wants to show in the towel, Father God, those that are on the pathway of backsliding, but this morning send a word for them, my God. Let them know that their journey is great. This morning I come before you, God, to represent heaven. Let your glory begin to flow, God. Let your glory come down this morning. Mighty God, I provoke the heaven. My God, back your prophet words this morning, mighty God. Because more are with me, God, than those are against me, Father God. Oh, the angels are rejoicing even now in the spiritual world. So I come and joy to locate your people. Mm. I hear the Lord said to tell the people that I'm bringing a great joy to your life this morning. I am seeing many of you on this morning, says God. Many of you are in a place of unhappiness. But the Lord says to tell you, I am bringing joy. God says to tell you that I've seen that you are not at a happy place in your life. Even though you are going through your everyday life, you are going through your tasks. But the Holy Spirit says, I'm not seeing any happiness. And God says to tell you, I want to bring joy to your soul. I want to bring happiness. I want to bring peace to your soul. I want to give you a peace of mind, says the Spirit of the living God. Receive the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. If you believe that joy is here for you this morning, why you don't begin to tell God thanks in Jesus' name? Come on. I see God is bringing joy in your life. In the name of Jesus, you have been asking God for peace. You have been asking God for joy. But I see the angels of God are bringing joy to your life this morning. I see joy is coming. Yes, Monique Stewart, come on. I see the joy of the Lord. Come on. If you need joy, why you just don't tap into this right here? Tap into this if you feel like this is your moment. If you feel like you have been praying for God for joy, there is no joy in your life. It is like there is always something to make you frustrated. But this morning I bind the spirit of frustration. I bind the spirit of irritation. In the name of Jesus. And I speak restoration to your joy. I command your joy. Rabbi Sandai to return. I command the passion that you had for God. I command it now to be restored. In the name of Jesus. Every yoke that is every yoke that has you bound everything that yoke you everything that has you in bandage I see God is giving you joy there is a person even now I see you have been crying you have been shedding tears nobody knows what you are going through but God just spoke to me and God said I have seen your tears and I have come to wipe your tears up man God said I have seen your tears you have been shedding tears 
you are at a place and it's like you have been questioning God. You are saying, God, when does my situation is going to change? But God just spoke to me and says, I come to change your situation. I come to change your story. Your story will never remain the same. God said, I'm going to change your story. And God even just spoke to me and he says to tell you, whatever the enemy meant for evil, God says, I'm going to turn it around for your good. Something good is coming out of your situation. Something good is coming out of your struggles. I see somebody you have been struggling financially, but God says, I'm about to break that financial curse that was released over your finances in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a person I'm seeing you from you lent like one of your friends, like I'm seeing some money that you lent one of your friends, but what from you lent that friend that money? I see everything started to go wrong in your finance, but this morning God says, I come to remove the curse in the name of Jesus. Why somebody just don't give God thanks this morning? Come on, give him a praise one more time. Hallelujah. Let us release a praise in the heaven and let us give God thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us give God thanks. We welcome everyone again, guys. I am going to go in the word. I promise you my assignment is not going to be long this morning. I have a short assignment. But for those of you that know me, I am really fascinating in the word of God. So this time, I just want to shift your attention real quick. And we're going to dive into the word. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the word of God? I know that there is a word for somebody in here this morning. Hallelujah. The word is like spiritual food. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know that you need spiritual food. Only the word of God can keep you. So for the next minute, I want everyone to begin to share again. If you have not shared, I would please ask you to share. All right. I'm about to get into the word and I welcome and I greet every one of you another time so we're going to go to the book of luke chapter 19 and we're going to read from verse 1 through 10 so we're going to go into the book of luke chapter 19 and we're going to read the first 10 verses hallelujah so in the meanwhile you are finding it make sure that you have your bibles guys if you are at a place and you can follow the reading of the text it is very important and if you cannot read it now, I would advise you and encourage you to please write it down. Hallelujah. So in your private time, you can always go over and read it. But the word is very important. You can just imagine the prophet comes to you every day and he comes to you with a word. Hallelujah. Sometimes you probably don't catch it right away because you are probably busy or doing something. You are listening. But I would like to advise you to go back. So I'm going to read the word of the Lord in your hearing. I am an old school. And um, this is the way I taught. Hallelujah. I believe that when you read the word. Before you actually go into details. It does something in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Somebody asks you what was today's text. At least you can say that the man of God read from Luke 19, 1 through 10. So I'm going to read in your hearing. All right, so I'm going to read in your hearing. Luke chapter 19, from verse 1 through 10. And those words says, And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus. Hallelujah. Which was the chief among the publicans. And he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of statue. Verse 4. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must 
abide at thy house. Verse 6. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully, my God. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, my God Almighty. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restored him fourfold. Verse 9. And Jesus said unto him, This day, is salvation come to this house for as much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. And this is the reading of God. Hallelujah. The word is already blessed. And today, saints of God, I want to bring to you a topic. And it's a question that the Lord is asking to the believers this morning. And God is asking, and, I, and my assignment this morning is to reach sinners. Before I came on here this morning, God spoke to me and God said, my assignment is to reach and save souls. And I'm seeing many unsaved have been asking this question, hallelujah. Are you desperate for Jesus? Hallelujah. Heaven is asking many of you this question this morning. Are you desperate for Jesus? My God Almighty. If you are desperate for Jesus, why you don't answer about heaven and say, I am desperate for Jesus. I want you to mean it. I just don't want you to say it because I said it. I want you to utter it in the atmosphere. I want you to make a declaration and answer back heaven, reply back to heaven and say, I am desperate for Jesus. And if you meant that in your heart, God has a blessing for you. God has something for you. So this morning I come to speak to believers on a topic spiritual desperation. I know that many of you are desperate for Jesus. Hadaba Hoshandai, even though you are at a sinful place, even though you are at a messed up place in your life, but one thing that God can say to you this morning, He can see your heart and He knows that you are desperate for him. Somebody in here has been desperate for Jesus. Can I tell you, saints of God, you are desperate, man. When you are desperate for Jesus, you want to see Jesus. When you are desperate for Jesus, it gives you the passion to go to church every Sunday. It gives you the passion to be in the presence of the Lord. It is like when you are desperate for Jesus, it's like you feel a move of God. Can I speak to somebody this morning? It's like when you get a touch from Jesus, you are so desperate from him. I come to tell you something, saints of God, that many of you were touched by Jesus and you have been asking for the presence. You have been asking for that movement. Many of you have been questioning and saying, I have not felt God in a long time. It is like you are spiritual numb, but I come to restore back your desperation. I come to tell you this morning that God sent me with a word. He sent me with a message to tell you that I come to restore back your desperation for him this morning. Can I tell somebody on this morning that God sees that you are desperate for him. What I'm hearing in the spirit that many of you were desperate for Jesus. Many of you has lost your passion. But I come to tell you something that God is about to restore your passion this morning. Can I speak it like oh, I'm here in a church of God? Can I speak it like oh, I'm hearing it in the spirit?
spirit in the name of Jesus. I know that many of you are desperate for Jesus, man. I know that many of you are desperate for Jesus. I know that many of you have been asking. You are saying, God, I need a touch. You are saying, God, I need to feel you like how I used to feel you. Many of you have been numb. The reason why you are feeling numb, because you are not feeling the authentic presence of God. Can I tell you something? saints of God is like when you have been filled with the Holy Spirit and I come to tell somebody on this morning that God says I come to refill you back with my spirit can somebody just bring back your imagination that first day when you caught the Holy Spirit is like the presence of God was upon you but my assignment this morning is to resurrect back the presence of God on the inside I want somebody to begin to open up your spirit and let God release what is in your spirit in the name of Jesus when heaven come to release your spirit you have to allow heaven to release your spirit I know that many of you you have been holding on and things but I hear the Lord said to tell you on this morning you gotta let it go man so I can come back in so when you look at the word spiritual depression it means an intense longing for the presence and the power of the living God. Many of you, man, you are longing for a move of God. You are longing for something from God. You have been waiting all these years. I know, can I speak to somebody? You have not given up. You have been trusting God because you are desperate for Jesus and sometimes desperation can lead us to the wrong pathway. But I come to tell somebody that God sees that you are desperate for him I know that many of you it is because of desperation why you went to some churches because you wanted to be comfort but I come to tell a sense of God that's what the church is for the church should be a place of hospital where God's people come to be comforted to be healed to be delivered to be set free but I get to understand that the church has become a place, Rabako Shandai, where many of us left broken, where many of us left hurt. And I come to tell us something that discouragement has replaced desperation. You were so desperate for Jesus, but now you are at a place of discouragement. But I come to shift it in the spirit. I come to turn it around. I come to give you back your desperation for Jesus I come to tell somebody that you're going to begin to start to listen back to your gospel music God is about to blot out that wicked spirit that is influencing you to listen to secular music some of you have no desire for gospel music anymore but I come to tell you saints of God you used to be a person that every Sunday nothing but God gospel can be played in your house but I come to tell somebody that those days are coming back in your house where from it reached Sunday morning all playing in the house is gospel, the music is turned up with gospel I come to tell somebody that the devil has been in your house too long, I come to tell you something that I come to chase out secular music, I come to tell you something man, Rabbi can I preach it like who I'm hearing it you love your gospel music you have been driving in your car and I come to tell us something all of a sudden the devil distract your mind but I come to tell us something you gotta go back to the whole landmark you gotta go back to the whole you come on the Bible says in Romans 12 don't be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. People of God, don't forget where God has brought you from. Can I speak to somebody? We are entering a season. We are entering the last days. And God says that I must get the people prepared for what is about to hit this earth realms. And this morning I come to bring back souls that were desperate for Jesus.
Jesus I come to bring spiritual desperation to the body of Christ I come to tell us something that God come to restore your desperation and he says I must ask believer this morning are you desperate for Jesus can I tell the saints of God when you are desperate for Jesus it doesn't matter the situation you are in I come to tell us something sometimes the enemy will put situation in your life sometimes the enemy will put problem in your life but I come to tell you something when you are desperate for Jesus you don't watch the crowd when you need something from Jesus you don't watch the crowd so the Bible here is talking about a man named Zacchaeus people of God and when I look at the meaning Zacchaeus the meaning when I look at the Hebrew meaning Zacchaeus it means pure and innocent Zacchaeus is a Hebrew name but when you translate that name to English it means pure and innocent and I come to tell you something even though Zacchaeus he was a publican in his heart was pure he was innocent and let me tell you something about the publicans let me give you some history about the publicans the Bible says that the publicans they were like tax collector and their job was to collect taxes but you know that those tax collectors they like to rub up the money so the Bible says that Zacchaeus he was a rich man because he has stolen so many tax money I come to tell you something that God doesn't care if you are a thief this morning what is looking at this morning it is your purity this morning it is your innocence this morning what is looking for this morning it is your desperation so this man named Zacchaeus when he heard that Jesus was passing through Jericho the Bible said saints of God that Zacchaeus he positioned himself I want you to understand saints of God in this season when Jesus is coming your way when you heard that Jesus is passing through you see the desperation and the inside of you it will make you do some things and can I tell you about Zacchaeus as I just told you the characteristic about Zacchaeus people of God I want you to understand that this man he was a rich man he had a lot of money he didn't have to position himself but the Bible said people of God that Zacchaeus did something very strategically the Bible even mentioned and said he was he was he was little in statue in other words he was a short man and there was a lot of people before him but he had to do something people of God sometime when God is passing through you cannot watch situation sometimes when you need Jesus to see you sometimes when you want to meet Jesus can I tell you saints of God you got to position yourself and I see many of you have positioned yourself and you have missed Jesus but I heard the Holy Spirit says to tell you this morning reposition yourself because he's coming to town so here come the Bible said in the book of Luke 19 I'm getting ready to close this thing so here the Bible says and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho and behold there was a man named Zacchaeus which was the chief so people of God this man he was the chief oh God almighty of the publican and when you look at that word chief it defines the head or leader of an organized body of people so this man he was a leader he had leadership he has a title but he was desperate to see Jesus oh man Many of us, we are managers, we are supervisors, we got some type of titles, but that doesn't stop you from being desperate for Jesus. I come to tell us something in this season. God is calling all the titles out there for those of you you are sinners, but you have some type of titles. I come to tell us something. You are in leadership, rubber shandai, you got authority over how 
people, the Spirit of God is about to come upon you. And I remember, saints of God, that there was a, there was a centurion man who came to see Jesus. This centurion man, people of God, Rabbi Koshandai, he was in authority, but he came to Jesus because he was desperate for Jesus. I come to tell you something. We are about to see Rabbi Koshandai, wealthy man, wealthy woman of God. We are about to see they come in the church because they're desperate for Jesus. They have a good heart for Jesus. There is about to be a shift in ministry. There is about to be a shift in the kingdom of God. Can I preach it like who I'm hearing it? Rabbi Koshata Mama Makusanda. But God wants to ask this question. For a move like this, you're going to have to give up something. You're going to have to make a sacrifice because the Bible tells me that Zacchaeus he had to give up his riches. Can I tell you something? It is like not the other rich man that came to Jesus and asked Jesus, how oh, can he inherit the kingdom of God? And that rich man says and Jesus said to the rich man, give up all your riches, distribute it to the poor and you will inherit the kingdom of God. But that rich man went away sorrowful. But here comes Zacchaeus. He had a lot of money. But he was willing to give up something. And God is asking you this question. Are you willing to give up something? Can I speak to somebody's spirit on this morning? What are you willing to give up? The thing about it. For you to see this desperation be manifested. You're going to have to give up something. And I'm hearing the Lord is saying to ask the people what are you willing to give up I know that you are in sin but you would have to give up something you would have to make a sacrifice can I tell you the truth because the devil is going to attack the areas that you don't want to give up that thing that you don't want to give up the devil know what you don't want to give up but to meet Jesus you would have to give up something and can I tell us somebody you better get ready to give up something because if you want to meet Jesus if you want to see Jesus in this season the thing that you are holding on that's the thing is stopping you from meeting Jesus that is the thing that is hindering you from meeting Jesus what is stopping you is that boyfriend is stopping you is that girlfriend is stopping you is that party life is stopping you what is stopping you it is fornication stopping you what is stopping you something is stopping you and I come to tell you the living truth you would have to give up something I remember when I walked to Jesus I had to give up gambling I had to give up hustling I had to give up those things because I realized what they came to do they came to hinder me they came to stop me and I come to tell somebody if you want to see the glory of God manifested in your life you gotta give up something what are you willing to give up can you just tell Jesus within yourself you don't have to tell me he's asking you the question this morning and I guarantee you he will locate you if you desire for him if you desperate for him this morning I want you to understand remember I asked you the question are you desperate for Jesus and many of you answered you didn't know it was a setup but God said if you have answered and said you're desperate for me he's saying it's time now to give up something so what are you willing to give up for Jesus what are you willing to give up to meet Jesus Rabbi Koshata Mandai there is about to be a move now here come Jesus is coming so here come Jesus is coming He's coming, Rabba Shandai. He's coming through town, Liba Shandai. And you got to position yourself. So here comes Zacchaeus. The Bible said that Zacchaeus ran. 
Let us use that run. The thing about it, sometimes we got to make a move. The Bible said that Zacchaeus run. And when you look at the feet, feet means to take you from one place to another. You got to understand, people of God, that Zacchaeus did something else strategic. The Bible said that Zacchaeus seek God. I want you to understand, sometimes you got to see Jesus if you want to find him, people of God. When you look at the word seek, it means attempt to find somebody. Sometimes you got to seek to find Jesus. I know you seek to find Jesus. Sometimes, Rabbi Shandai, you will have to get up out of your house and you would have to go to church. Rebecca Shandai, because I come to tell us something. Anywhere the presence of God is, that's where Jesus is. And I come to tell us something that Jesus is here this morning because I can feel the presence of God all over me. I can feel the presence of God is moving through somebody this morning. Can I tell you the living truth? Rabba Koshatamandio Sandai. So he still asks him this question. What are you willing to give up in this season? What are you giving up in this season? Come on man, some of you need to make a covenant with God. Rabba Koshandai. What are you willing to give up? You want the blessing this morning. But he's also asking you a question. He's saying unto you this morning. What do you willing to give up? Because you have to give up something. Rabba Koshandai. For the next blessing that God is about to give you. You have to give up something. For the next breakthrough that God is about to give you. You are about to make a sacrifice. Are you willing to make a sacrifice? Rabba Koshandai. Are you willing to make a faithful sacrifice? A sacrifice is something that you love the most. A sacrifice is something that you would have to give up. I come to tell somebody, if you need God to use you mightily, you have to give up something. I don't care what that thing is. I come to tell you something that is the season, man. Some things you are holding on and you have been holding on and them for years. And God says, man, you have to give up the battery rider, man. Rabba Koshandai. You have to, I know that you love to dress up nice, but I can tell you something. You can still dress up nice in God. You can still look good in God. Let nobody tell you that in God you cannot look good. I want you to understand. Rabba Koshatabahasya. Hey God Almighty. Masatara Bandia. Who am I speaking to this morning? Who am I speaking to this morning? Oh da bashanda da basanda. I know that somebody, I know you don't want to give up nothing, but I got to preach the truth. Some of you went silent on me because you don't want to give up nothing. But I come to tell you something, man, that if you want to meet Jesus, you would have to give up something. You would have to move. Some of us, all you need is to make a move this morning. And God is sent unto you this morning. All you need to do, make a move. You got to make the first step. And watch God does the rest. Sometimes you are thinking about your situation. Sometimes saints of God. You are thinking about your circumstances. But if you keep on thinking about those situations. You will never make a move. Sometimes when you are desperate for Jesus. You got to let go pride. You got to start think. What are the people going to think about you? Because the problem is. When you are in need for something from Jesus. That no man can give it to you. Sometimes, Rabba Koshandai, you gotta put on that flint face. Sometimes you gotta get radical. Rabba Shandai, when you are desperate for Jesus, you will do anything to meet Jesus. And I come to tell us something that many of you are dealing with sickness, but I come to tell us something. It is through desperation for Jesus. You're going to get your healing. So the woman with the issue of blood, the Bible said, 
presence of God that she had it for 12 years. Riba Koshandai, she suffered and she spent all her money. She went to many physicians, just like many of us. Rabba Shandai, when God wants to make the spiritual desperation come in us, he will put us into some situation to make us desperate for him. I come to tell us something that you are struggling financially and God allow you to be struggling financially because he's saying I want you to be desperate for me there is a sickness in your body I come to tell you it's not gonna kill you what it comes to do is to bring that desperation out of you can I tell you something I come to tell you something man that desperation of Jesus has to be back in the heart of believer I come to tell you something it is time to restore back your passion it is time Rabba Koshanda for you to be on fire for God again I come to deliver somebody I come to reignite your fire this morning I come to tell you something Rabba Koshanda it is like you lose interest in God you are not interested in God anymore the interest you used to have Rabba Koshanda because of the things that you have heard in this season people of God you need to guard your hear way it is not everything you need to hear because some things you will hear in this season it will make you lose your passion for God and know that the kingdom of God is messed up but it's not everything you need to hear some things just need to pass through what you need to do in this season you just need to focus on God can I tell you the truth Rabba Koshandai is not everything you need to see in this season because you can see some things and miss Jesus. You can just imagine Zacchaeus. He was focused on Jesus. His desire was to see Jesus. He made the effort to see Jesus. This man he ran and he positioned himself. The Bible said saints of God that he climbed up into a sycamore tree. Rabba Koshandai. You can just imagine the rich man into a sycamore tree waiting for Jesus to pass by. But I love what Zacchaeus did. The Bible said, saints of God, that he ran into the sycamore tree and he stood there. He was waiting on Jesus. Just like many of us, we position ourselves to see Jesus. And when you get the blessing, folks want to jealous you. Folks want to envy you. Many of you, you have spent so much time to receive Jesus. And when they see God began to use you, they start to become jealous jealous of you but let them talk I come to tell you something that Jesus he knows your heart and he knows your heart desire and I come to tell you so here the Bible said saints of God and he sought to see Jesus who he was hear me now let me tell you my time here and could not for the press because he was literal of statue because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. For he was to pass that way. Hear me. The Bible said, For he was to pass that way. So you can just imagine that Zacchaeus, he was a publican, he was an intelligent man. But he used his intelligency to meet Jesus, to position himself. Many of us, sometimes we got to shift the man wisdom and apply how I'm going to meet Jesus. Come on, reshift your focus, reshift your thinking, start to think different. Some of us, we only thinking about how we're going to make money. Let us think about how we're going to meet Jesus. You can just imagine if Zacchaeus have his own ways in him, even though he was a sinner, but his mind was on Jesus, his heart was on Jesus, he orchestrated this thing in his mind, in his head, how he was going to meet Jesus. So you could tell that Zacchaeus, he had a vision. Hold up, Hashem. Sometimes we have to have a vision how we're going to meet Jesus. And sometimes that vision starts within ourselves. So Zacchaeus, he visioned this thing. 
He saw this thing before it happened. So that tells me that Zacchaeus, he had faith. And God is calling the church to this place of faith where you can see things before it happened. So Zacchaeus knew that if he climbed up on the tree, he knew that he would have gotten Jesus' attention. He got closer to Jesus. He knew. So this man has some history about Jesus. Or did Zacchaeus knew that Jesus was to pass that way? Zacchaeus knew something about Jesus. And I want I want you to understand people of God when you hear that a servant of God is coming in town you got to make preparation I am hearing the word preparation some of us need to make preparation to meet Jesus I don't know what is your preparation in this season but you got to make some type of preparation to meet Jesus because when you are desperate for Jesus you got to make preparation even if you got to sacrifice to buy some ticket to go for your deliverance you see some person they have made sacrificial rubber coat they have made they have made a lot of sacrifice or they're gonna meet Jesus they planned their trip two years ago I want you to understand saints of God that God is saying in this season man you got to make some type of preparation, man. You got to make preparation to meet the king. How many of us are making preparation to meet the king? We got to make some preparation, man, to meet the king. So the Bible says, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, hear this. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up, oh God Almighty. Now catch this. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up because Zacchaeus made himself available. Zacchaeus positioned himself into the sycamore tree. I don't know what is your sycamore tree, but I come to tell somebody, mighty God Almighty, I hear the Lord say you need to position yourself on your sycamore tree. Rebecca Shanda, there is a sycamore tree, blessing is about to come. There is something about the sycamore tree. Rebecca Shanda, I come to tell you something in this season, God is about to elevate you. Some of you I see elevation is coming, I see promotion is coming, man. So the Bible said that Jesus look up. Can you just imagine when Jesus look up, he only saw Zacchaeus. I come to tell you in this season, when Jesus look up, he only going to see you. Because you see the thing about it, Zacchaeus, he climbed. He did something foolish. Sometimes saints of God, we got to do something foolish to see Jesus. I come to tell us something. God will use the foolish things of this world to confirm the wise and I hear the Lord is sent to tell the people I am going to use the foolish faith of you and this morning to bless you in this season is there anyone has a foolish faith God is telling you to do something foolish in the eyes of man but in the eyes of God it doesn't look foolish because it is the foolish things of God open up the eyes of Jesus can I tell somebody, Rabba Koshandai, you are doing something, it looks foolish, it seems foolish, it looks like it don't make no sense in the eyes of men, folks are discouraging you, but I come to tell us something, heaven just gave me a revelation, I hear the heaven says to tell the people, it is the foolish things of this world, open up the eyes of Jesus, it was the foolish things of this world, open up the eyes of Jesus, that's why Jesus will go and he will sit with the publicans and Jesus will begin to eat with them. You got to understand that Jesus, he didn't criticize sinners. I want to tell some sinner this morning. Why am I here this morning? You are doing something foolish, but it's about to get Jesus' attention. I remember Jesus says, I don't come for the right.
righteous, but I come to bring repentance to sinners. This morning my assignment is not for the righteous. I come to tell somebody that the foolish things that you are doing, God is about Rabbi Shandai to get his glory out of it. I just heard another revelation in the spirit. I just hear the Lord said to tell my sinners the foolish things that the enemy has caused you to be true. I hear God says to tell you that I am about to be glorifying it. There is a woman, Rabbi Koshandai. You are doing something. It looks foolish. It seems foolish. But I come to tell us something that God is about to get the glory. You got to understand it is the foolish things that this world God used to blind the devil. Did you know that the devil is very intelligent? So I come to tell you something. So God he has to use the foolish things of this world to confound the devil. Reba Shandai, the reason why God does something foolish because the enemy wasn't looking for the foolish things. I come to tell us something. He did something foolish and the enemy is hungry because the enemy couldn't see it. I come to tell us something. Sometimes Reba Shandai, you got to do things the opposite. Reba Kashata Mama Makusaya, Rabba Kosatamandai, when I speak in Tuman, Rebecca Shamdai, if you keep on doing things the ordinary way, the devil will always stop you. Sometimes you gotta do some extraordinary things. And I come to tell somebody that the extraordinary blessing is about to locate you this morning. Rabba Kosyanda Ramaku Samda. I come to tell us something, man. Libaka Shamda in this season. In this year, I am testing your faith this year, says God. Who am I talking to? God is testing your faith, Omar Ricardo. God is testing your faith, man. God is testing some of us faith. So now, the foolish faith will open up Jesus' eyes. Now, for those of you, you are high-minded. For those of you that are high-minded, you got this spirit of narcissism you you now catch this you're gonna have to do something foolish the reason why i said it zacchaeus he had a lot of money zacchaeus was rich and zacchaeus proved to us it was the foolish thing that he did in the eyes of men cause him to meet jesus cause jesus to look up and say zacchaeus jesus said when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. God is calling us Zacchaeus. God is said, Zacchaeus, come down. Rabba Koshanda, who am I speaking to, man? Rabba Shanda, you have positioned yourself. You have climbed up your sycamore tree. I don't know what is your sycamore tree, but you must know within what is your sycamore tree. If you know that today is your day to meet Jesus, if you know that today it is your day to have an encounter with Jesus, if you know that today is your day to have an invitation with Jesus. I come to tell us something man, that today is your appointment day with Jesus. I come to tell you, saints of God, that don't miss your appointment with Jesus. You see the thing about it, sometimes you got to know to make, you got to know to plan your own appointment in the spirit. I know you plan your own appointment in the spirit. You got to position yourself like Zacchaeus to meet Jesus, Rabba Koshanda Rabahai, can I tell the church this morning that today is your day? Come on, everybody say, Today is my day. I'm about to pray over you. Somebody said, today is my day. That's what Jesus said unto Zacchaeus. For today I must abide at thy house. Today I gotta visit your house. Today I gotta visit your heart. Today I gotta visit your situation. Some of you came in here this morning with some situation. I wanna prophesy to you as a prophet that you will not leave out this platform with your 
situation because even now God is touching you. Somebody is getting their breakthrough. Somebody is getting their healing. Somebody is getting their deliverance. I could tell when you get your deliverance because when Jesus said unto Zacchaeus, for today I must abide at thy house. And the Bible said people of God and he made haste and come down and receive him joyfully. You see the thing about it, the Bible says in Luke 19 verse 6, and he made ace. Let us put a lot of emphasis on the word ace. Sometimes you gotta move quick. When God tell you to do something, you gotta do it quick. Who I'm talking to, you gotta make speed, man. Come on. Rabba Koshanda. So he made ace and came down and receive him joyfully when you are desperate for Jesus and you have got his attention it's going to bring joy to you I come to tell somebody all the sacrifice that you have made all over the years just to meet Jesus just to see Jesus just to have an encounter with Jesus I come to tell you this morning that he's about to restore your joy so now this is the part I want to get to. So now in verse 7, the Bible says, And when they saw him, now, catch this. I'm about to close now. I promise you. I'm about to close now. Catch this. And when they saw him, they who? And when they saw him, they all murmured, saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. Now, I, I, I want to speak to some some real some real sinner now. I want to encourage you now that when Jesus begin to start to bless you, look for some religious folks that are going to murmur and going to want to criticize you and saying how oh God is using that messed up man how oh God is using that messed up woman you better get ready for the criticism Rabbi Shanda but the criticism cannot stop Jesus from moving your life because you see the thing about it when Jesus called you and you did not call him he's the one that called you because I want you to understand that Jesus did not call the quality he qualifies the caller. Let the devil know that you did not call yourself. It was Jesus call you. You did not ask Jesus for that. But because he sees your heart. And I come to tell you something. That God is about to use many of you. And you are about to see religious folks begin to criticize you. You're going to begin to see religious folks. Folks, Rabbi Shanda, that the glory of God has left Riba Shamba, folks act like they are too Rab satisfied. Oh God, the words them are taping on my mouth. Somebody pray for me. You're going to begin to see some religious folks begin to bad mind you. Riba Shanda, but don't watch the bad miners. Can I tell you something? If Jesus call you and he puts an anointing on you, no devil can stop you. If Jesus bless you and he put a blessing upon your life, no the devil cannot stop you. Rabba Koshata Mandi Osanda. Can I tell you something? Some of us are nice in a church. Don't want to do the work. But as you see somebody come in the church and start to do the work, you start to get jealous and bad mind. But I come to burn out some bad mind spirit. Riba Shandai. Sometimes it's not really religious. Religious and bad mind is different. Some people they are not religious, they are bad mind. And I come to tell us something. They are envy of you. Rebecca Shatamanda. They wonder, oh God, raise you up so quick. They are wondering, Libaku Samba. Can I speak it like who I'm hearing? You got some people they're gonna murmur and say, Oh, he just come and they start to use him. Some people gonna murmur. I come to tell us something that God is gonna send her into some church, and some folks are gonna murmur and they're gonna drop their countenance. Are you gonna to see it in their face, but I come to tell you, man, you cannot watch those faces. Those faces come to stop you. You know that you got folks in church, they try to use their face to intimidate you. But in this season, you have to have the German face, you have to have the flint face. Sometimes you got to know to preach against hypocrites, even though you know they are hypocrites. You got to use the hypocrisy to shut them down. Liba Shanda, some of them are living 
being hypocrite. But I come to tell us something. You got to know how to preach before hypocrites in this season. Because I hear them have a saying. Say church people are hypocrites. You better know how to deal with the hypocrites. Because if you don't know how to deal with the hypocrites. They're going to send you right back out where you're coming from. I come to tell us something. Everywhere you go you're going to find hypocrites. Everywhere you go you're going to find jealousy. Everywhere you go you're going to find bad mind. So you better get ready to deal with it. You better get used to it. Because if you don't get used to it. They're going to shut you down. Elamande Sunday. They're going to go in your past. They're going to dig up your past. And if you are not builded and grounded in God. They're going to break you. They're going to shut you down. They're going to pick on your children's name. They're going to look something to try to shut you down. But you better be strong in the Lord. I come to tell you something. That in this season folks cannot use your past to use against you. Somebody say my past is gone beyond me. Somebody say my past is barren. I don't care if you want to go back in my past. If you are not talking about the current situation you got no talk in this season. You cannot go back five years ago and try to come back and try to paint a rubber someday. I come to tell us something that anything happened in my life yesterday. It is already past and gone because the Bible said any man that come to Christ is a new creature. All things are past and gone and all things become brand new. I want the church to understand that in this season you're going to begin to see folks digging up your past when they have nothing to use against you. But I want you to understand that you will have to stay strong in this season. Do you have a past? I want you to understand that if you don't have a past, you don't have a story. It is in your past, is your story. And I come to tell you something. When you have a past, you have a story. And the more messed up your past is, it is the more story you have. And you can get so many messages from your story. I come to tell you something. You see the prophet is preaching like this. I don't need to go and Google and do a sermon. I can just go back in my past and preach my past. My past is no secret to you. Can I tell the church my past that I used to be messed up. Yes, I used to love women. I used to do my thing. But look at this young man now. God is not looking at my past. Look how God is using this messed up young man because I want you to understand that's how God shut down the religious folks because in this season you got religious folks trying to shut down you. They don't believe that God cannot take you out of the club and put an anointing on you. But the Bible said, saints of God, that Jesus come to do a new thing. When Jesus went down to Samaria, the Bible says that there was a woman at Samaria at the well. The woman keep coming to the well. But the Bible said that Jesus says, I need to go to Samaria. And when Jesus got at the well, she was with a Samaritan woman. Jesus did not criticize the Samaritan woman. Jesus said to the woman, go get the husband. The woman says, I don't have the husband. And when Jesus said, Labako Shandai, the Lord six men that you say, hey, and the set and the one that you are with, it is not yours. And the woman said, I perceive that you are a prophet. Labako Shandai. But what Jesus did, Jesus wanted to get her attention. Jesus did not go in the woman past to criticize her. Jesus just wanted the woman to know that you are speaking to the Messiah and the Messiah come on to make a difference in your life. The Messiah come to shift this thing. So the Bible says, when the woman found out it was Jesus, the woman, the Bible says, the, Samar the Samaritan woman drop her water pot and run into the street and say, come see a man. I come to tell us something. I come to spread the gospel to you. And I come to tell us something. The person that I used to be, I am not that person anymore. I am not the Samaritan 
Samaritan woman come see a man. I want the church to say, Rebecca Shandai, God is not looking at my back, girl. I come to tell you something. I come to tell you about Jesus. I come to tell you the encounter I had with Jesus. You see the thing about it? Some of us act like we don't have an encounter with Jesus. We are acting like we used to be all that holy. I come to tell us something. Don't let those folks trick you. Reba Shanda acting like they are holy. The devil is a liar. That's why Jesus doesn't like Reba Shanda, the Jews. They are always trying to find an accusation against Jesus. But I come to tell you something. I want to speak parables into some devils. You acting like Reba Shanda, Reba Shanda, like Jesus came. Reba Shanda to do something different. He did not come to do something different. What he come to do? Reba Shanda, Reba Shanda, Mama Makusaya Namasi, Reba Kuna Nama Shataman, Robo Koshata Mamba, Robo Koshata Bay, Robo Koshanda, Robo Torobosha, Robo Tatamandiosa, Robo Koshata, Robo Tatamande Kosha, Robo Tatamosa Tabashanda, Get up and go. Satabasia, put loose and send fire to that house. Put Satabaya, put Lebandiosa, Rababa, Sataba, Alusia, put a deliverance, put Alusia, Rabaco, put Alusia, Rabacosha, put Alusia, Catamanda, put loose, Satabaosa, put loose, Satabaya, put loose, second, put loose, Satabasia, put loose, Secosha, put loose, Satamandiosa, put Libai Kosha, put loose, Satabasia. Loose the platform, loose it up devil, bad man loose, loose it, Katama Hosia, loose Satamamande Kosha, loose Satatamandiosa, loose Atamanda. Everybody send up some fire sand, Rabaka Satamanda. There is a deliverance in this house, I loose your Clifton, I deliver your Clifton, every sickness in your body, I loose your Clifton, Rabako Shandai, Ikatamamande. Everybody say loose. Rabba ko satamandiosa. Rabba ko satamanda. Ekatata mamandiosa. Rabba ko satamanda. Rabba ko satabahasya. Rabba ko samba. I lose ya Kim Williams. Loose Sataba Oshanda, Loose Eko Toro de Osia, Ribaku Satamanda, Ikatata Mamamande Koshanda, Elabako Satamanda, Ribako Satabaha, Rabako Shanda, every negative word, a loose your tanga deal, Loose Satamandiosa, Rabako Shanda, Rakel Watson, a loose your purpose. Riba Shandai, Sabrina Brian, a loose, a loose, Iraba Shatamanda, Eketata Mama Mandiosa, Ikata Mama Shatara Banda, Evangelist Kadian, a loose, a loose everybody on the platform, a loose Shannon Thompson, a loose the people of God, loose Satabahasia, Tasha Tasha, a loose from every spirit of manipulation, a loose your mind, a loose amount of this morning, Ikata Manda, come. I lose you, Riba Shatabasia. I lose the people of God. I declare and I declare over your life that you will never be the same. Marco Sanda, I cover you under the blood. <coughs> Every spirit that sit upon you this morning will never sit upon you anymore. I pray that God will go with you and I pray that God will be with you. I command the presence of God. Rabba ko shata mamandio. Rabba ko shata manda. Rebo shata baasia. Rabba ko samba. Come on. Are you desperate for Jesus? Are you desperate for Jesus? Ilaba shata manda. Are you desperate for Jesus? You said that you're desperate. If you are desperate for Him, He's here right now. Rabba ko shata manda. Somebody cry out. The glory of God is here. Rabba ko shanda. I said the presence of God is here. The glory is here. Come on. Do something in the spirit. I said the glory of God is here. The glory is here. The presence of God is here. Rabba Shanda. You said you're desperate for him. Here he comes for you. He's here right now. Manda Shanda. Let he do what no man can do this morning. Let he touch you this morning. Let him deliver you this morning. Let him deliver you in a supernatural way. Hodadaba Shanda. 
Adabahai, Rako Satarabanda. Let the fire burn this morning. I deliver you from demonic powers. I deliver you from witchcraft powers. I deliver you from Huabia powers. I deliver you from voodoo powers. I deliver you from black magic. I deliver you from African powers. I deliver you now. Every altar that was erected against your life, I loose you now. Hodabashatamanda, Rabba Kotorabanda, Loose Ketamamandiosa, Loose you now from sickness. I speak healing to every sickness. I speak miracle to your body, every pain in your body. I command it to go now in the name of Jesus. Every sickness, get your water. I'm closing. Get your water. Shaba kusata mama masai ilaba shanda la la bahaya raba sata bahaya. This person by the name of Tracy Williams. Tracy Williams, I heard the Lord said, "It is your moment, Tracy Williams." You have been asking God for something, Chase Williams. And I just saw the Lord locate you, Chase Williams. Marco Sander. God says, worry not, fret not, Chase Williams. Because I am with you. I see you are going through something, Chase Williams. Hilabashanda. But the Spirit of the Lord is touching your body even now. Rabashanda. The calling of God is upon your life, Chase Williams. Receive what God is doing. Hilabako Satama. There are persons that are crying out. If you are desperate for Jesus, cry out. Can you just cry out? If you have the chance to cry out, if you are home, I want you to kneel down, begin to cry out to Jesus. It is your moment. It is a personal thing with you and Jesus. If you are desperate for Jesus, cry out for Jesus. Tracy Williams cry out there is a cry in the heaven I feel the glory of God I feel the glory has come down I felt the heaven open up for you this morning I felt Jesus came for you this morning I feel the presence of God come on receive what God is doing Ela mama mako sata bahaya ila baku shanda la bahaya raba ko shanda ila bashanda is Tracy Williams still here? Oh, da 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 ba sata mama ma sanda. God is touching your body, Tana Bailey. Who shandi pekusa na kuta mama manda. God is about to change your language, Tana Bailey. Oh, da da ba shanda. Come on, a new language wanna come upon you, Tana Bailey. Oh, da 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 ba siya. Raba kuta mama ma shanda da bahai. Raba shanda. There is a shifting in your spirit, Evangelist Kedi and Smith. There is a shifting in your spirit, Hada ba shanda. I hear the. Lord said, go on some fasting Katie and Simeon. God is purging you. I see where you get contaminated. God wants to bring a fresh anointing on your evangelist Katie and Simeon. God is setting you free. Whatever I'll contaminate your anointed. There was a person that pray over you and release evil spell. But God is delivering you. I dip you three times. Rabako Shata Banda Rabako Shanda I dip you in the Jordan River seven times. Every leprosy spirit they put on you. Rab I dip you in Jordan seven times. Rabako Sata Mama Makutara Banda. I dip you in Jordan River seven times. Zatabanda. Go on seven days of fasting evangelist Kadian. See me and watch God move in your life. God said, Go and seven day fast him. It's going to represent when, G, when God tell, when, when, when Elisha tell me a man, Elabashan, a man to go deep at Jordan seven times. Get your water, guys. My time is up. My time is up, people of God. My time is up. Get your water. I want to bless water. God is going to heal some of your sickness. Rabba Siamda. I want everybody to get their water. Come on. The Spirit of the Lord is moving. Are you desperate for Jesus? I am closing. Are you desperate for Jesus? Are you desperate? So Zacchaeus stood, Luke 19, verse 8, and said unto the Lord, Behold, 
this is what Zacchaeus says. Behold the rich man. Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restored him fourfold. I hear what Jesus said to him. This day is salvation. Come to the house for as much as he is also is a son of Abraham. For the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Come. But you're going to have to give up something, man. Come. I want to pray for my sinner friends this morning. If you are a sinner this morning, Give up something. I'm going to bless water. I'm going to bless waters this morning. Hallelujah. If you are a sinner, if you are unsaved, backslider, God is calling you back. Return back home. Return back to your first love. If you are a Christian and you desire to give God your heart this morning, you have been thinking about this decision. If you want to make the first step with me this morning, I want you to repeat. I want you to repeat this prayer. I want you to repeat this prayer with me this morning. Come on. I want you to repeat this sin. Come on. I want you to repeat this prayer with me this morning. If you are a sinner and you desire to come to God. I want you to repeat this prayer. Let me pray over the sinner. Come on. Every sinner, if you desire to come to God, repeat this prayer with me. Say, dear Lord Jesus, come on. Say, dear Lord Jesus, come on. Listening, say it in your heart, even if you cannot comment it. Say it in your heart. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. Come on. I believe you die. For my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. If you believe this prayer this morning, if you believe this prayer this morning and you receive it, I would encourage you to find a Bible believing church and I would uh, and I would advise you and encourage you to tell them that you want to give your life to God all right and if you need help with this if you need help on this journey you can inbox us and I will pray for you if I don't reply back to you I'm I'm always busy guys but I will take the names and I will pray you true. I know this is a social media platform, but the what city you live in, find a believing Holy Ghost Church and tell them you want to baptize in the name of Jesus. Tell them you want to give your life to God. Don't let too late be your cry. I came on an assignment this morning and I came to do what the Father sent me to do. So as I go, guys. Pray that you will draw closer to Jesus. Don't watch your messed up situation. I encourage you. God bless you. I'm going to bless waters and I'm going to go. So Father, I tell you thanks this morning. As I bless my water, bless their waters, God. I pray, God, that you will go with them and be with them in Jesus' name. I tell you thanks, guys. It was a blessing this morning. Hallelujah. And for those of you, if you were led to give, hallelujah, you can also. If you know that this word was a blessing, for those of you that want to bless this ministry, hallelujah. I will give you the opportunity to also do that if you are led. So, and I will continue to pray for you guys. Shalom. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. I pray that God go with you and God be with you. Pray me my strength. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom, guys.